This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 and the Dow each capped off a strong first quarter. The Dow rose 6% this quarter, while the S&P rose over 10, registering its strongest first quarter performance in five years. Bonds also posted their best first quarter in five years, with the two-year Treasury yield falling to 4.6%, while the 10-year yield closed at 4.2%. Now, Thursday marked the end of the week, the month, and the quarter as U.S. equity and bond markets were closed for Good Friday. Good Friday is a market holiday, not a federal holiday, and investors received some good news on Friday. As the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, the PCE price index, came in only as hot as Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell signaled it would and should keep a June rate cut on the table and keep the Fed on track for as many as three cuts this year. Stay tuned. We had some sad news this week, as Daniel Kahneman, the Nobel Prize-winning economist, passed away at age 90. Danny, who wrote the best-selling book, Thinking Fast and Slow, explained investors to themselves. He helped to debunk the notion that people's behavior is driven by rational decision-making, and instead, it's often based on instinct. He discovered that we feel losses more than twice as much as we feel equivalent gains. Most people understand the pain of losing, the agony of defeat. It outweighs the thrill of victory. For us as investors, recognizing our mind's tendency to magnify negative outcomes impact and taking that lesson to heart couldn't be more timely than today. You know, it was only two quarters ago in 2023 where the market dropped for the quarter and wiped out the return for the whole year. How you reacted to that one three-month period dictated how your portfolio performed this past quarter. Again, the strongest first quarter in five years. Did the agony of defeat overwhelm your ability to stay invested? Did myopic loss aversion kick in? Or did you stay the course and reap the rewards of the first quarter of 2024? Professor Kahneman taught us that being out of the market may let you stay clear of the emotional roller coaster that comes with the volatile swings in the market. However, the imagined safety is illusory, and it only takes you further away from your long-term financial goals. Understanding how such a version can affect your decision-making is a better solution than letting it rule you. Remind yourself why you are invested in the first place, simply to meet your long-term financial goals with your dreams and with your values. Volatility, as we experienced over the last six months, not something to be feared, something that we should be embraced and it should be exploited to our advantage. As I often said on this market commentary, All the dips and pullbacks in the market in history have been temporary and new highs inevitable. You know, like we just experienced in the last six months.